Welcome to CAM Design Concepts. We'll show two examples of building CAM type gemstone geometry. For the first example, we'll assume the rough is too shallow or too dark to cut a deep Barian design. The first thing is, we flip the design and delete the pavilion, leaving the crown intact. Then, we select a girdle face to work from. I'm going to select the outside one right here. Pick a point on the girdle to cut to and, on an index of 4, the same index as that girdle face, cut the first guide face to a point using an angle of 41 degrees. This created a level girdle here. To create a cam for this stone, we need the next face to be on the same index as the next girdle face here. We need it to meet the culet point here, and we need it to meet the level girdle we just created right here. We'll round this angle to 43 degrees and put in the face. That's our cam for this gem, angle 41 on index 4 and angle 43 on index 0. That's all that's required. Let's cut the stone in that order using the cam to show how it works. Starting from scratch, we cut guide faces to a point on an angle of 41 degrees and an index of 4. Then we meet that same point using angle 43 on index 0 to install the second set of guide faces. Girdles are cut on the index of 0 to calibrate the size of the gem. Then the second set of girdles are cut to meet the junction of the first girdles and the guide faces here. That's how the cam creates explicit geometry that will fit the crown perfectly. Let's put some main faces on this pavilion by cutting on an index of 2 at an angle of 41 degrees. We'll have them meet at the junction of the guide faces with the girdle here. That finishes the pavilion. After the stone is transferred, the remainder is like any other stone, building from the girdle to the table, following meets, and finally the table. You can see with this overlay that the resulting gem is 20% more shallow, better for shallow rough or for darker material like garnet. For the second example, I'm going to use a new checkerboard oval crown that I designed on New Year's Eve. I built the crown and now I need a pavilion to put under it. Because the end guide faces have further to stretch to get to the center, I'm going to start from the end. This will cause subsequent guide faces to become deeper as I near the middle. I'll use the same index as the end girdle face, 21. Select a point on the girdle to cut from, here, and since I'm building this for quartz, I'll cut the first guide face to an angle of 43 degrees. The next guide face must be on the same index as the next girdle face, 13. It should meet the culet point, here, and it should meet the end of the girdle I just created, right here. It falls at a nice even 45 degrees. The next guide face progresses the same way, uses the same index as this girdle face, meeting the culet point, and the previous guide face. It comes to 46.8 degrees. The final guide face is just the same, index the same as the girdle, meets the culet point, and meets the previous girdle here. The program finds an angle of 48 and a half degrees. And that's the complete cam preform for this oval shape. You can see we have a clean culet point and a level girdle. We'll cut it from scratch now to show the process in action. The first set of guide faces is cut on an index of 21 angle 43 to a culet point. 
The second set of guide faces meets that point using an angle of 45 degrees on the index of 13. The third set of guide faces meets the point on an index of 8 and an angle of 46.8. The final set of guide faces meets the point using an index of 2 and an angle of 48.5. The girdle faces now meet the guide faces on the same indexes as those guide faces, creating a nice level girdle. Now we need some main faces. I'm going to do a quick commercial style completion to this design. I'm going to cut one set of mains on an index of 0 at an angle of 43. I'm going to meet the point where the middle two guide faces join the girdle, here. The second set of mains will meet the girdle between the second and third sets of guide faces, here, at an index of 11, also at 43 degrees. Now that the pavilion is complete, the crown installs like any other, building by rows of faces, guiding up from the girdle to the finish. For more information about the CAM design process, stay tuned to the Gemstone Artist channel on YouTube or attend one of our faceting camps. You can get more information on those things and you can also download copies of these and other gem diagrams from the website at www.gemstoneartist.com.